I'm a whatnot seller here in the UK and I've got about five minutes to go before tonight's show starts. I'm going to take you behind the scenes so you can see what happens in the background. This is my office studio and I'm all set up ready to go for tonight's show. I've been selling on whatnot for a few months now. I've done about 20 shows or so. Um, so I'm getting used to the format. I've done clothing, I've done sportswear, I've done all kinds of stuff. And I've kind of settled on the collectibles, figures, toys and stuff like that. And we run what's called walls and basically you bid if you like something or you see something on the wall. This is our starting wall. You make a bid if you see something you like. If you win, you get to pick anything on the wall. When an item is removed and sold, we fill the hole with another item. We do giveaways throughout the night and we do buyer appreciation giveaways at the end. And uh, these are what's available tonight for our buyer appreciation giveaways. We'll do three of those at the end. I've got my WhatNot uh, studio set up and ready to go. I can see all the comments here. There's a few people in already. I can set up all my auctions here. I've got my little tags, my stapler, everything that people buy goes in a bag and with their name on it. And then uh, I transfer it into boxes uh, in the morning to ship out. Over here, we've got all the stuff that I'm potentially gonna try and sell tonight. I won't sell all of this tonight, but I get to pick from it. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna sell. It just depends how the show is going, uh, what people are after, and I'll pick out items and put it on the wall. And that's how it goes. So um, what time are we on? I've got three minutes until tonight's show starts. I have to say, it is pretty tricky as a new seller to get going on whatnot. You do need to really have a following of some kind. You need to bring people over um, until you can get established. It is quite difficult. And um, even when I first started on whatnot, even with the following that I have on YouTube and you guys, uh, been very, very supportive. Even with that following, it was very difficult at the start. I was selling things for a pound and uh, some things weren't selling at all, but you kind of have to persevere and get through that stage. Also, I think that you have to make sure that your buy price on your items is really low so that you don't risk too much sort of money in your items. You've got to also provide good quality stuff to sell because if your items that you're selling are really worth less than £10, then people are not going to bid much more than a fiver because they've got to put postage on top of that. So those three things are really important. Have a following of some kind, persevere, um, have a low buy price on your items, but also have try and have some quality items that have the potential to sell for some decent money. I play music in the background, which is allowed on whatnot. But it's not so good for YouTube videos. I'm going to have to pick and choose um, when I do some clips for this video because I don't want to get a copyright strike. So uh, whenever you see me on whatnot doing the show, I'm going to have to turn the music off. Belle's just creeping in to try and do some filming. Uh, I'm just waiting to see what Silver Wolf has chosen off the wall. So um, as we wait for the wolf, let's see if you want to show them what we've got up there at the minute. Lots of cool stuff. Bell's just coming in. Uh, Wolf, let us know. Chris wants birthday money, says Gwaz. We're still waiting for the wolf. Once we've sold that item, we will add another item to the wall. So stay tuned and we'll get the music back on in a minute. And just what I do is I put the buyer's name on a little tag and staple it to the bag. And when they buy, they can um, fill their bag. Fill the bag. Okay, payment's gone through, Wolf. Do you want to let us know what you want? He's going for the breaking bad figures. So the two breaking bad figures are going to the silver wolf. Thank you, Wolfie. Those are yours. Goes in your bag. And what we're going to do now is we're going to look through my stuff and find some more cool things to go on the wall. I don't I don't premeditate what's going up. I just make a decision on the night. Bell's getting a shot of my ass right now. Thank Cook, you, dear. Cookie's checking out all the products. 
Okay, we're gonna put up this I I was Groot. If there's any Groot fans. It's a chopping board. It's brand spanking new. And that is going up on the wall. Brand new chopping board. I've got nowhere really to put it. So we'll just put it there like that. And we're gonna start that auction again. Uh, number seven. And we're off again, one pound starts, fill your boots. Let's see what we can get. We've got Jessica Rabbit on the soda, one of 12 and a half thousand. It is opened, it's got the little pop coiny thing. Oh no, hang on a minute. Is it's it sealed? It's sealed up. No, it, is it? Yes. That's completely sealed, so I'm not opening that up, guys. Could be so... a chase. And it's a limited edition there. Oh, sorry, you can't see it there. Limited edition 2023. I'm not opening it, guys. We don't want to do that. You get the privilege of opening. So that is going on the wall. Say hello to YouTube, folks. <laughs> hello. Right, where should we put that? Let's move the mug up to the top. And this one can go there. So if you're interested in a sealed Jessica Rabbit, make your bids right about now. And you're off. Good luck, everybody. Get your bids in. We are going. You can see here we've got the bids coming in here. Moody MS. No, Ophelia is winning. Whoa, my finger looks massive there. <laughs> Ophelia is. Look at the size of my finger. <laughs> That's mental. Uh, you can't even see it, babe. It's blurry. Uh, Ophelia is winning nine pounds at the moment. Let's see where it ends on. We're on eleven pounds. The Carolina Claus is on thirteen. Ophelia's fifteen. There's a bit of a bidding war going on at the minute. This is a good one. Fifteen pound. Ophelia is winning. There we go. Thank you, Ophelia. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I'm guessing it's Jessica Rabbit. Am I right? I'm guessing it. Is it Jessica Rabbit? Please let me know. Yes, it is indeed. Thank you, Ophelia. Uh, thank you, everybody, for all your bids tonight and all your interactions. I really appreciate it. If you're new, there's a coupon code in the notes at the top of the screen. And if you buy something tonight, you get the chance to enter the buy it appreciation giveaway at the end of the show, which you could win any of these. Mike and Francis lead the bidding at six pounds. This is a cheap one. Mike and Francis has got a bargain here. Well done, Mike and Francis. That's your first one of the night. Oh, Mike and Francis is going for Mickey. Well done. That is yours, Mike and Francis. Thanks so much. There you go. I didn't see him bid on the last Mickey. Were you not here? Did you miss out on the other one, the Builder Bear? Oh, yeah, true. Mickey's and Minis. Right. Right, let's do a giveaway, guys. The Dark Crystal. Who remembers that film? Great film, along with Labyrinth. Uh, pop figure in pretty nice condition. We've got a DS uh, Mario case. Not a pencil case. It's not a pencil case, but it's a Mario case in nice condition. A little bit of wear on it, but not too much. These two come together. It's a Mighty Mugs Star Wars figure and it's um, a C3PO plush. They're together. We've got Stretch Armstrong on the soda pop. We've got Mole Man pop figure. Just a little bit of a dent on the back there. Not too bad though. Anyway, let's draw the winner of the... Uh, Prize draw, here we go. Let's see who's gonna win. It's DVD Fangirl, you are a winner. DVDs at random here, out the box. Here we go, this is what you've won DVD Fangirl. You've got Inside Out to the DVD, Disney DVD. You have uh, the nine, back to the 1970s, if you're into that. Uh, brand new and sealed, possibly the worst film ever made. 
and we walked out of the cinema of this into the woods. Yeah, we did. Awful, awful film, but that is yours. You might like it. Moulin Rouge. Uh, what else you got? Les Miserables. Les Miserables, as we call it. And Grease 2. What a classic. There you go. There was a yours DVD fangirl. Appreciate all your purchases and everything tonight. Thank you very much. Right. Right. Say it. Uh. Say what? <laughs> supposed to say action. Action! Right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for all your purchases. Thanks for all your tips for the birthday. That's really appreciated. That was unexpected. So thank you all so much for that. Um, and we'll be on again next week for another jam-packed show. I'm going to have loads of Dragon Ball Z, I think, next week as well. And I'm going to try and pick up some other stuff as well. Um, so please join us. Don't forget to follow my profile on Whatnot so that you get notified when the next show is because it could be Tuesday, it could be Wednesday, I'm not sure yet. And um, don't forget to head over to my YouTube channel because we're making a little video right now for YouTube. Hello? <laughs> Behind the scenes on Whatnot. Look out for Cookie and Hayden's on YouTube. That's my YouTube channel as you can see here. Um, James Smith says, can I, Chris, can I just say... Uh, oh, 1-0 to the Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, never mind. You deserved it. If you're an Arsenal fan, you deserved it. Um, that's it for tonight. Thanks, everyone. Thanks on YouTube. Thanks on whatnot. See you later. Awkward moment. Oh, we did all right, even though... Uh... Yeah, we did all right. We did £442 in sales tonight. 61 orders. 2 hours 50. I think that's the longest I've done. Mm-hmm. Um, 15 shares. That's not bad. Thanks. And £20 in tips for your birthday. £20 in tips. £20 in tips. Wow. Thanks, everyone. Well, that's it. That's the end of the whatnot show. As you saw there, we did £442 in 2 hours 50 minutes. That's actually the longest show that we've done. Um, yeah, everything sold. We've got an empty wall and we're going to be ready to go again next week. Uh, so I've got to be sourcing more stuff. I've got quite a bit still. I've still got stuff left over and I've got stuff in the back room as well. I've got so much stuff to sell. So um, if you're interested in following me on whatnot and coming to one of my live shows, then there's a link in the description below. If you've never registered on whatnot, there, there's a link there that will give you free money to spend. Um, if you use that link, I get free money to spend on whatnot as well. So everyone's a winner. Here's all my sales from tonight's whatnot. All ready to go. I've got a lot of packaging to do in the morning. I'll have to get up early to do these. Um, yeah, I'll take those downstairs into the packing room and everything will be boxed up and sent out to you guys next day. Got my work cut out this morning, getting all these packed up. Loads to pack up. I've got some boxes stacked ready. That lot's all my eBay orders ready to go out already. And this lot is whatnot. That's all the parcels done. It's taken me about three hours to do this lot. Now, this is not just whatnot. This is whatnot and eBay. So, yeah, all ready to go. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting. I'll bang a couple more videos up on the side here for you, just in case you want to continue following the channel and watching some more videos that are similar. Um, other than that, we'll see you soon on the next one. Maybe we'll see you on next week's whatnot. I hope so. See you later.